Hi, I'm Edward Bonnaby from the Materials Tropology Lab at the University of Delaware, working with uh, Dr. David Burris. So this is the poster I gave in Atlanta uh, in May. And uh, what it's dealing with is actually the uh, load-bearing properties of articular cartilage. So osteoarthritis right now is the leading cause of severe disability in the United States. And it's uh, characterized by a progressive breakdown of articular cartilage like you have in your knee or you have in uh, your hip or your ankles. And what happens is the lubrication mechanisms break down and lead to damage propagation across the whole joint, which leads to immobility and severe disability. So what we're looking at right now is um, basically how the load-bearing properties uh, contribute to the lubrication properties. So a recent group has shown that the friction coefficient is linearly proportional to the amount of the normal force taken in by the uh, fluid load support compared to the solid fraction of cartilage. So cartilage is about 85% fluid, and the rest is all solid matrix, so collagen, uh, proteoglycans, and other things of that nature. And what we've seen with this test is we're doing indentation and kind of gauging how much of that load support, so during indentation, is attributable to fluid pressurization instead of actual strain of the matrix. And what we're seeing is that um, for indentations at speeds of as slow as uh, 580 nanometers a second, you're seeing about 60% of that total normal force is coming from fluid pressurization. And then at 20 microns a second indentation speed, you're seeing about 85% of that total force is coming from pressurization of the fluid. And what that tells you, if you compare that to the previous studies as far as lubrication, is that when you're deforming the cartilage matrix along that, um, I guess, the same type of rates, you're going to see a reduction in friction coefficient by up to 85%, as basically all of those supports coming from the solid or coming from the fluid inside the solid matrix, and which is causing you to have a less solid solid contacts and lower interfacial shear, shear stretches. So that's actually one of the big mechanisms as far as cartilage lubrication. It's the pressurization of the fluid during deformation, which is why you actually see in osteoarthritis, it's not a big risk factor to be a, an athlete, like a distance runner or someone who's moving around a lot, whereas obesity is actually a very big risk factor, which would actually come in and come into play in our research as far as we've seen, where uh, a lack of movement would cause higher uh, friction in vivo and would cause degradation.